Hello, my brothers and sisters on the Dragon's Path. My name is Tim Hay and I believe in dragons. And welcome again in the Belgian forest, where I am home. I live here, not that far away from this forest, and this forest is endless. And I love to be here every single second. Um, I want to talk to you about the Dragon's Path. And the reason for that, that I make videos like this, is because there is not inv enough information or people who share their opinion and experiences about the Dragon's Path. It's something that is unheard of in many uh, locations of the world, that uh, believing in dragons is just like believing in fantasy or believing in something evil. It's one of the two. Or you are insane or you are a, uh, a devil. One of the two. It's nothing in between. It doesn't have their own stamp on it, their own uh, phenomenon, their own spirituality. And I try to change that because I have met a dragon. I have seen a dragon. I have experienced a dragon. And many people could claim you're insane. You are insane. I don't care what they say. I don't care. Whatever they are saying is not of my concern. Why should it? Why should it be? I know what I've seen. I used to be an atheist because I don't believe in anything that I don't see or, or feel or whatever. But I have experienced the dragon. That is why I believe in them. And that is why I started up to make videos like this, not to gain popularity or whatever, but to release the dragon with my brothers and sisters. There are so many brothers and sisters who are also claiming to see and experiencing the dragon, but they are afraid to come out with it. And that is a shame. That is really unfortunate. And that is what I wanted to change. And you know what, is, what, what else is very unfortunate, and that is what I've seen a lot, and what I experience myself, is that a lot of brothers and sisters feel unworthy of the dragon. Once the dragon is with you, of course, of course, their purity, it's so beautiful. They are so beautiful. They are so connected with you. But the thing is, uh, brothers and sisters, especially children of Tiamat and, Le and Leviathan and things like that, and, and the dragon gods like that, um, they are very humble. They are very humble children of the dragon. And um, as, as a human that they are now, they see themselves as inferior sometimes to the dragon. There are, there are a lot of people who feel discomfident too much, that they say, I am the dragon to all of the world and no one will take them seriously. And then there are people from the other side and they say, I'm not worthy enough for the dragon. No, 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 I am not a dragon spirit. I'm not worthy of them. So I don't accept the dragon. You see, it's, it's, you, it's from both sides. You shouldn't say to all of the world, I am a dragon because no one will take you serious. You have to say, uh, according to me, by the way, that you believe in dragons and yet you feel draconic, and that there is something in you that feels connected with the dragon. Because you have to know, my brothers and sisters, uh, too much is never good. Too much. Too much confidence is never good. And too much doubt is also not good. You have something, you have to have something in between, just like with everything with the dragon on the dragon's path. Everything in between. Have a balance of everything. Oh, my goodness. I, I have to say I, that was cl quite a climb to come to this forest. Everything is so high <laughs> wherever, I, wherever I live. That is very good for my health, by the way, but oh, I'm sweating. Uh, endless forest, but yeah, you have to reach it, of course. And yeah, I, I, in, in my day, back in the day, I didn't accept the dragon because I was too humble. I can say that I was too humble. And that I, I can say that I didn't accept the dragon because they were so beautiful and they were so pure and they were and they are still much more than humans, much more. And I can still say that today. They are so much more than humans. Humans are like, nah, I shouldn't say that, but um, humans are less than, than dragons. Even though dragons say we are equals, I don't accept that, but um, I accept that the ones who are chosen by the dragon are the ones who are very much um, worthy of the dragon. The ones who are, ex who are chosen, the ones who, that, that the dragon has found. You know, um, 
Your spirit, your draconic spirit, is asleep when you were born. But before that, it had a history. And this history is shared with the dragons that are still with you. They have a connection that is eternal. And this eternity will follow you until this life and to the next. And uh, it will be an infinity. An infinity together. And even if, the, if this life seems that you are alone, that the dragons are still with you. And that is where the dragon's path is based on. And whatever betrays this is the fact that you watch this video, that you are intrigued by this path, that you want to know more about this path, that you are lured to this path. And that is enough to know that there is a dragon, draconic energy within. There is something in you that is um, attached to the dragon, that you want to know more. And the thing is that is. And, you know, it's more than just interest. It's much more. It's something that you want to be involved in. And that is what the dragon's path is. That is that you have dragons by your side. And these dragons ask you to give their energy. But if you still doubt yourself, if you say, no, I'm not worthy, then the dragon doesn't receive anything from you. So stop having these doubts. Just go for your path and accept the dragon. Not like I said, like, like some brothers and sisters who say to the entire world that they are dragons. <laughs> they can say, they can, they can believe that for themselves, but you have to know how, is, how it sounds for the world, for the human world, how it is. Um, um, for example, if, if I say to you, I believe in unicorns and I believe in the rainbows they shoot out of there, you see, that is just the same. Um, that is how people will react to it. They never heard of believing in dragons, even though it has a large history, a very large history that was forbidden by religion. That there is only one God that you can worship. But no, the dragon followers and dragon believers, and they wanted other gods. They wanted dragon gods. They believed in dragon's god. I don't believe in any other god than the dragon. And that is what, what, what I, of course, religions don't accept. Because for religions, you have to follow someone else in their experiences. In this experience, it's yours and yours alone. No one, you have to follow no one except for the dragon that you have in your mind, in your feelings. <sighs> so, yeah. They have, they, of course, they try to... Uh, to let our dragons become a monster. But who is the monster really on this earth? They cannot even let a tree stand. Of course, <laughs> except for this place. But I have to I had to look for a place like this, for an endless forest. But on the other places, uh, humans are just uh, strange animals. And now we are part of them. We are still part of them. Whatever you can say, we are part of them and we have to live between them. And sometimes we need a mask to live in between them. I still use this mask every single day. Uh, but you are worthy, my brother or sister. You are worthy. I know this. I, I'm the first one to say, no, you're not, because you are a human. But I should not see from the outside. I should see from the inside. A dragon's eye look, looks at you from your soul, your spirit, not your body. That is how dragons can recognize you. They don't see the human. They, they see the dragon in you. And they see, when you go uh, to the dragon realms, you will see, they will see another dragon that is entering their realm, not a human. They won't see at your shell. They won't see. They will see at your spirit. And that is how a dragon can see that you are worthy. They, you are like a sleeping dragon that still need to be born. Still need to need to be woken up. And they are trying to wake you up. And once you do, they and just imagine that you say, "Oh no, 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 no! You are much too much too great, much too pure for me. I won't give you." my energy. No, don't do this, my brothers and sisters. You are worthy. The dragon, your dragon, needs you very much. You are one whole, and you together you create your dragon eye, 
and this has so much energy and this is so personally so unique for you and for your dragon and your dragon gods this is something that you have to remember that you are worthy I mean, I, in back in the day, I said just the same thing. I just was not worthy enough. I fell on my knees for my dragon guardian alone. So imagine dragon god. But the thing is, I, when, whenever I discovered the dragon soul, the dragon spirit that is within, then I saw, oh yes, I'm just like them. So that is why they are with you. Not because you are a random human that they like to play with, no, they have chosen you specifically for who you are and what you are within. That is why you are worthy, my brothers and sisters. That is why you are lord to it. Just like you see a beautiful tree. Why, why do you think it's beautiful? Because you are, you are connected with it. You are born out of it. You are a child of nature. And that is what you are with the dragon. Why are you so connected with the dragon? Why do you think they are beautiful? Because you are born out of them. Or in this case, reborn. My brothers and sisters, be blessed.